In this video, we're going to look at solving multiple angle trig equations. Multiple angle. So what's happening here, let me just do in a little aside here. What's happening here, instead of saying like sine of x equals something, it's going to be like the sine of 3x equals something. So the angle is now going to have a multiple on it. It's going to have a coefficient on it. So that's what we're dealing with differently today. So let's deal. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we're going to start in the same way we've always started. We're going to solve and try to isolate the trig function. So I'm going to first move that one over. Then I'm going to divide by 2. So I'm going to have the cosine of 3t equals 1 half. Now, now is the time in which I need to find the angles that this represents. So it, what I know is that those angles have a positive cosine. So that means they are in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. And the cosine is 1 half. So that's up here at pi over 3. And then down here at uh, 5 pi over 3. All right. So knowing that, I can then say, OK, 3t is equal to pi over 3. And 3t is equal to 5 pi over 3. And then we need to finish solving it for t. So what am I going to do? Well. I need to remember that it, I need to solve for all angles first. So I need to recognize that I need to add 2 in pi, so it's revolution, right? Unlimited revolutions to each one of these. Then I want to get rid of that 3. So I would, I would multiply both sides by 1 third on both of these. All right, and let's see what this does to our answers, OK? So now my answer is going to be, this becomes t equals pi over 9 plus 2 in pi over 3. So there's one of my solutions. That's okay. Looks weird, but it's okay. Same thing here. t is going to equal 5 pi over 9 plus 2 in pi over 3. So there's a little a bit of an extra step here. Not impossible. We can do this. Let's try number 2. All right, let's, let's clean this up. So 2 sine of 2t, I'm going to move that square root of 3 over. So it's positive square root of 3, divide by 2. So I'm saying the sine of 2t is equal to the positive square root of 3 over 2. So sine is positive, so it's quadrant 1, quadrant 2. Where is the sine square root of 3 over 2? Well, that's up here at, uh, let's see, that's pi over 3. And this is 2 pi over 3, OK? So I'm going to set 2t equal to pi over 3. And then 2t is equal to 2 pi over 3. And I need to keep into account the extra revolutions that are included in my solution. Then I need to get rid of the, one, the 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation <clears throat> by 1 half to get rid of that 2 and solve for t. So this becomes t equals 1 half times pi over 3 is pi over 6. Plus, all right, look, the 2's will cancel out, so this just becomes n pi. This one, when I simplify, 2 pi over 3 times 1 half is going to be 2 pi over 6, plus the 2's cancel out n pi. So there's my two solutions. Number 3, if I move the 3 over first, let's see what happens. So tangent of x over 2 is negative 3. Or 3 tangent of x over 2 is negative 3. Divide through by 3. So I have the tangent of x over 2 is equal to negative 1. All right, think about your unit circle. Where is tangent negative? In quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4, tangent's negative. Where is it 1? That would be the pi over 4 angle. So that would mean uh, 3 pi over 4 and then 7 pi over 4. So I'm going to set those equal. 7, or x over 2 is equal to 3 pi over 4, and every revolution after, right, 2 n pi, and pi over 2, or I'm sorry, x over 2 is equal to 7 pi over 4 plus 2 n pi. Then what do I need to do? Well, to get rid of this, I need to multiply both sides by 2, right? 2 over 1. So I'm multiplying by 2 over 1 on both sides of my equation. So let's see what that turns into. All right, this first one, x will be 
two, remember when you do fractions, it's top to top, right? So it'll be 6 over 4, which actually reduces to 3 pi over 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So I get 4 in pi. And this one is going to clean up to be x equals 2 times 2 is, I'm sorry, 2 times 7 is 14 over 4, which reduces to 7 over 2 pi, 7 pi over 2, plus 2 in, I'm sorry, 4 in pi, right? 2 times four, 2 is 4, so this should be 4 in pi. All right, so there's my two solutions on that. Number 4, tangent of 4x equals 1. All right, it's almost solved for us, right? So we're just thinking, okay, where is tangent positive and 1? Well, that's quadrant 1, quadrant 3 at the pi over 4 angles. So that means that... So if this is pi over 4, realize that this is just 1 pi over here that makes this 5 pi over 4, right? So I can simplify my answer a little bit, pi over 4, and just do n pi, right? Just 1 pi and then another pi will get me right back here. Endlessly, we could keep on going. So I'm going to use the shorthand versions, but still, I need to do that last step of multiplying through by 1 fourth across the board, right? When I do that, I'm going to have x equals pi over 16 plus n pi over 4, and that's my answer. Again, if you do it the other way, it's not wrong. It's just a few more steps, all right? Okay, I want you to try this one on your own, and we're going to start with this one in class number 5, all right? Good luck, and we'll see you there.